A huge thanks to Carlo for hosting me last week at Corica Park in Alameda, California. It was recently named one of the top munis in the country, and apparently America's only Australian sandbelt style course. Whatever that means. I can say that the course ran firm and true, and on the very first hole I lined up a 15-footer for birdie, but it circles the hole 360 degrees, and I'll take par. This weather was a welcome reprieve from the cold I've experienced in San Francisco the last few days. And here on the second hole, I pull my approach shot all the way to the left side of the green, and this is my first long lag putt of the day. And while this is usually a solid part of my game, suffice it to say that today it was not. And here on two, I have to settle for a three putt bogey. That's a good drive here on three. And with just a short iron in, I'm able to take aim at the flagstick. It comes up about 12 feet short. And I make a putt to erase the three putt on the last hole. The fairways on the front at Corica Park are wide open. And with a bit of a push off the tee there, I'm still in the fairway. And once again, I'm taking dead aim here. And I come up about 30 feet short. And this lag putt is too short. And in my third round with a new putter, I'm still adjusting to these ones. And that's going to be another three putt. This is about as easy as par threes get. And I actually missed recording my two putt, so I had to drop my ball and do it again. But worry not, it was the same result. This is a really gettable par five. And I hit this one skinny and it winds up in a greenside bunker. And that's not the shot I wanted. I was hoping to get up and down for birdie, but check out what unfolds here. That's a very bad putt. And on this one I decide I'm just going to hit it firm and through the break. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. And I decide to take my four putt for double. This is my second round with my new irons, and with a miss hit there, I still managed to carry my ball to the green, so, so far, so good with that experiment. And finally, I'm going to have a straightforward two putt. The drivable par 4 8 requires you hit it straight into a narrow gap to get near the green. And I managed to do it, and I'm putting from just off the green for eagle here. And that's a nice easy birdie. Here on the ninth, I miss my very first fairway of the day. And then I proceed to miss my first green of the day with that ugly shot. I bunt it onto the green now, and let's just get out of here with a two putt bogey. The first putt's okay. And we will indeed escape with the bogey. I don't know if I've ever hit eight out of nine greens on the channel. But the flat stick that usually saves me strokes cost me on the front, and I'll go into the back three over. If you've watched the channel lately, you've probably seen that I've had some very crazy rounds with differing nines, and today's no exception. This is a lousy approach shot on 10 that finds the front of the green, but I have about 80 feet here, and totally misread it. <laughs> I missed that one about 15 feet wide of the hole. And it's yet another three putt to begin the back. All right. This par three intimidated me. I don't know if I've ever hit such a bad push with my forward before. I get it back in play before hitting another bad putt. And once again, it's multiple wax with the flat stick, and this time a double bogey. The 12th is a tough dogleg, and I hit a good drive here, but I catch this one skinny, and it's going to miss short in a greenside bunker. But after watching one of my playing partners play out of this bunker, I managed to hit a pretty good one myself, and it will give me a good look at getting out of here with the par. It's not meant to be, and it's another bogey. Strap in for a major blow-up hole. That's an uncharacteristic miss off the tee, 
and this is usually a smother hook. I chunked that one trying to get it back in play, and now I'm trying to punch one under a tree up to the green, but it's a lousy chunk pull into a bunker. Now it's two shots in a bunker. And it's going to leave me with a very, very long putt here. Yeah, that's not a good putt at all. Oh boy. So to top things off, we're going to finish this hole with a three putt quadruple bogey. It will get adjusted for handicap purposes, but that's not a hole you like on the card. All right. Hey, that push miss is back. And we have to punch out sideways. And God knows what's going on between the ears, because after a solid front nine, this is just abysmal. I missed my putts here, but it was a two putt from off the green for a double bogey. I also missed this drive and hit another one for the video that wound up very close to where my first drive went. From the back of the green here, I have a very, very challenging two putt. And Jekyll and Hyde really is the name of the game today, because after some terrible putting, that's a great one here. And it's a two putt birdie amidst all of the chaos on the back nine. This one's well hit, and I'll have about 30 feet for birdie here. And I'll give you one guess on what I do with this 5-footer. It's just another 3-putt. The angle looks weird here, but this drive was right in position. But I decide I'll hit yet another bad shot here on the back. Ironically, I follow that one up with a bullet here from about 170. And I'm hoping for yet another birdie on a par 5 on the back, but it slides just by the hole, and I'll take par. The shot tracer is generous here. This was a pretty weak push up the right. And another top with a hybrid in hand. The golf gods aren't quite done punishing me, because this is going to be a very tricky 2 putt on 18. But wouldn't you know it, the last putt of the day is better than the others. And I'll get out with a bogey. That's a gross 86, adjusted 84. I don't really like looking at that because it feels a bit dishonest. And here's what it looks like in total. I don't really know if there's a lesson to be drawn from today, other than putt way better than this. Above all else, this was just a day enjoyed on the links with a subscriber of the channel, and perhaps an exercise in patience when things go bad.